So Marty and I are both in, in there. Uh -huh. Marty's been observing him and working with him as the cooperating teacher. I've observed him five, five times. And so, and I have the lesson plan. Okay? So, this, and this was an inquiry, this is a lab. We just saw the introduction to the lab. And then he spent the next 15 minutes introducing a worksheet that he did. Oh, okay. And, and the, the students did the worksheet using the globes, and it was, an, it was applied. And then there was an ending. And, the, and that's the way I, I tend to divide the, the video up into like 15 minute segments. And usually there's something that looks like an introduction and something in the middle, and then there's something sure. at the end. So this is right before the lab? This is the beginning of the class, right at the beginning of the lab, right? Excellent. Yeah. I get that helps. And you would know that if you were in the room. I just look at it as how it relates to this assessment. And from that, I mean, you're going to get very little out of that assessment to put on this piece of paper, Yeah. Um, obviously. And so is the performance assessment, you know, over a period of time? Do you do it more than once? Are there only things you can look at the video or every time you go, can you only hit on what you saw? And then you put them all together at the end of the, of the semester and say, well, now I finally have an assessment, or how is it going to be used? I, I the committee's been discussing this, and it's a, it's a really good question. Uh, we, be, we believe, we would like to believe, that you could use this for every observation, but you would not observe every behavior in every class. But you could use it as a daily performance assessment, daily. We also would like to believe that you could use this as a summative. So like today, you're going to fill them out for your, your student teachers. And um, it's a summative thing. We're not looking at anything. We're just recall, recalling, trying to recall if this student did these things. And if they did them, was it beyond expectations? So we're hoping that. And we're also hoping we can use it in different contexts, like the 301 practicum versus the student teaching. So, but you can, can, you see, can you, just one more thing, can you see where if you had five of these over the course of a semester, right, and you've got them over in this side of the desk, and then you sit down to do the final one over here, there should be some correlation between the totals over here and here, but it, it would give you something to think about in terms of the performance. Um, on the back, there's a place to take notes, okay? And so, and I would, I, I, my style, is to have the lesson plan and make notes on the lesson plan and give it back. So there would be two, in my case, there would be two sets of notes. I might, I might be able to check some of these things off immediately, especially after I've done it 10 or 15 times. But then I, just as we ask our students to reflect on their lesson, I try to reflect on my supervision. And I would, be, I, at some point, I would be saying to myself, well, did I catch this? Did I catch this? Did I miss this? Is this good? So I would go back and I would rethink some things and maybe change or add or something like that. I think that's totally within the professional uh, behavior of assessment. Some things you'll see and you'll record immediately and other things will come to you later. You're not going to have a videotape for every lesson, but you're going to have some videotapes, okay, because we we need evidence that students are doing this. One step, certainly, is this, this instrument. But as you can tell, there's going to be variability because you're going to do it differently than me. That's why the videotapes will eventually become so important because there's no questions when there's a videotape. You can say, that's that, that's that. Do we have to do that every time? No. But we have to be consistent in what we're, we're assessing and then we have to have some evidence that there's some validity to what we're doing. Let's say pedagogy. I hear a student, my pet peeve, say gonna, have to, wanna, all the time. And I, um, to me, that's something I want them to improve on. So if the first two lessons under, I guess it would be under pedagogy number five there, it says employs effective communication techniques. I mean, it's a real basic example. But if I, if I jot down under that and I say, gonna 27 times during a 15 minute lesson. And then the, um, I have six, six of these because it's cumulative. On the sixth one, I want that 27 to be down to five. And on the 10th one, I want it to be down to zip so that you can see progress. 
And, and you can do that. And you can do that right under here. What I'm saying is if you start to turn it over and then they have to refer to the front, we'll go under content, the, see what I'm that's saying? What yeah, yeah, loses content. content. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> it, uh, that's my comment. Is it changeable if it's, is it, how would, how would you adapt to it? Well, I, I think, you know, with my, my 25 years of supervision experience, I have my own way of doing things. You know, with a situation like that where they're misusing the English language, uh, I, I hate you guys. That's the one that I, really bugs me. Um, that really shows up well in a video tip. Yeah. yeah. And that's where I would go with the student teacher. I, and I do it in methods. They, they say you guys all the time. And I, I just write on their, their, their methods practice teaching, count the number of times you said you guys. And that, that's how I get at that. I, I, if you want it, and it, so that's how I get it. What are, you, what are you suggesting? What I'm, what I'm asking you is, we all have, I agree, we all have our different ways of doing it, but I'm hearing, I'm seeing elementary teachers and, and supervisors who want to, I think, isn't the purpose of this to show first step, second step, and show continuity of growth? The scores may do that. The, 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 the purpose of this instrument is to assess the student, uh, student's performance in the classroom. Okay, so when the teacher, when a student comes to me and says, under pedagogy, I've got, um, does not meet expectations, and they want a reference for that. And I've got 57 students out there, I don't remember why I didn't put it there either. And then I go back, where do I, where do I reference back and find gonna, has improved, <laughs> or, or they don't use like every other word. So, so are, are you just saying the format, if this was on two pages where there was a space in yeah. the that's what I'm saying. No so, big deal. No That's big deal. no big deal. So, Lori, if, if there were two, the two, two sections on the front, and we moved three sections to the back, and then spaced them out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, does that sound like? And I'm thinking about being that student teach up there. And if you are the student teacher, yeah, they're not going to teach and do this. Where that's, I think it's better if you're doing. I don't oh. Know, I mean, or not even turning the page. But I don't know how you that's get just away from that. that yeah. So that was my question. Can we address format questions? Or, or That's easy. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. It, it's really important that this is user friendly. Mm -hmm. um, we really want this to be a, a tool that helps these students improve their performance. And so anything we can do that makes your job and, and your ability to provide feedback e easier and more, and more straightforward, we really want to do that. How so about electronic? Um, I'm working on that. We have to get good, we'll, we'll get the right stuff in it, and then um, I've got a, a fella who's able to turn this and, you know, make that accessible to us electronically, where you could just click a button under, meets expected, it, but again, do we want to be typing while they're teaching? Those are questions, we'll, we can figure those out. I, I just want to say. I like that. Not everybody may not, but I like that idea mm -hmm. if it's comfortable. Yeah. I just want to say that that in the as I explained, we have a three week goal, we have a three month, and then a three year, and um, the, our response in three months from now has to address validity and reliability. It, 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 we could use all the technology in the world, but if the score doesn't actually represent what's going on in the classroom, it's not going to be good for the program. Before we leave Lori's point, I just wanted to kind of go back to that because it makes perfect sense to me that if we don't write down underneath effective communication what the problem was, then our data can't be that valid exactly. when you're actually doing one, two, three, because we don't know uh, we don't know specifically on the first measurement or the first um, time how that was determined, what, what they were given that one or two. Yeah. Does that make sense? I agree with you, Kim. Kim you, Does that you, make sense? It, it makes total sense that any supervisor will take notes okay. while they're doing okay. this, and they'll know. The supervisor will know why, why they scored that. It makes total sense. Gotcha. Okay. I yeah. think I know what you're saying. If I do this with all five of my observations, 
And and the first observation, I expect them to be, boy, this is the first time out. They're going to be nervous because I'm in the room. My expectations of them are different. Does that change? I'm still hung up on the one, two, or three yeah, sure. and what those mean. Let's look at the first category, okay? And let's, let's get, now you gotta remember that you, you've only seen 10 minutes of a guy that we've, I've spent a year and a half with and Mari spent a semester with, okay? So we have, a, we have some other, we have some insights into how we're gonna do this. Let's, let's just talk about his content, okay? And let me give you an, an, a, a, an example of how we're gonna resolve this meets expectations or exceeds. Where was this, was this middle, beginning, end, this lesson of his, Semester. He said right before exactly. spring break is what. He, oh, he did say spring break. Okay, so is that going to is that going to affect the way you assess though? <laughs> that's why I'm asking. Uh, what, what, I don't why think so. would it? Why would it? Is it? it that's what I'm asking. It, it it should be across the board the same way okay. all the time. Right. You can't say okay. Well, he's at the end. Well, he should meet expectations. So I'm going to say he is. No, no, no. It's either no, he is or he isn't. Right. Right. No. These expectations would not be would be the expectations of the program. And they're the same for everybody all the time. The expectation is that when the student graduates, let's take a look, that they demonstrate understanding of the central concepts and structures of the discipline. <coughs> student, so, when they graduate, tubes. are you saying you, just, you give them a two? I'm saying if they meet that expectation, that's what we're hoping that all students that leave MSU are twos. Uh, that's what I would hope, yeah. They okay. meet expectations. That's okay. Right. But I mean, are we are we saying, boy, he really nailed it. That's a that's where I want him to be, or he has to be above and beyond to be an exceeds. I would say you'd have to be above and beyond to exceed expectations. Okay. It's, yeah, of course. Right. I don't know. We've yeah. Well let, let me try and let me let, let Marty and I try and explain this one and let's let's see. So Marty, he made some mistakes. Okay, content-wise, right? So we're in demonstrates understanding of the central concepts. He made well, some mistakes. He, yeah, he, he talks, he gets rotating and revolving back mixed up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and as well as, you know, longitude, latitude. Most of the time he had it right, but then he did have it wrong as far as the number of degrees and what it was. But, um, so I had talked to him about that, and then in the afternoon he corrected. Nice. And I do know that earth science is not his field, and he's a general science broad field, he's a biology person. So this was a lesson that, um, and most of the year we're doing chemistry and physics, that, uh, that he really is, is not strong in. All right, so, so Marty, uh, given, the, you know, given your understanding, how would you mark him? I would, I would probably, uh, well, just from this lesson, there's a couple no, you, I don't think you can but, divorce it from the lesson, but... Well, I mean, it seems like you're saying to fill out a whole bunch of these. Aren't you? Well, we're talking about number one. Okay. So well, number one, does he demonstrate okay. central concepts? I would say in general, I would say two because we yeah. observed that he did and there was no indicators that he didn't. So it says indicators not observed. Well, I saw that he did have... Yeah, I mean, I guess I thought it was two. Although, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to have like I think uh, one. five selections instead of three. <laughs> well, no, the, the one is, no, the yeah. difference between I one and two is huge. Yes. I mean, you're saying yeah. it's not there or there. It's, it's somewhat it's, it's, there. It's weak in the two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? So where? So what would you? One point five. So right. Marty, get no, I agree. I, I, I see that. There's, there's, a, there's only three things to select from, and in some of the categories, I, I don't want to put a one, but when, when I, um, you know, there's, there's a definitely been improvement, and in, in some disciplines like physics, it, he's doing better. This particular lesson was a, one of his weakest lessons because he's not that great in his science. And he so over, so so again. Uh, Marty and I were there, okay, so give us a chance to just externalize our thinking a little bit because she, in the end, I'm the supervisor, she's the cooperating teacher, Joe's the, the guy. So I just listened to her, I just heard you out, right. okay? And then I, at the end, there wasn't an, well, maybe you can show the end, and, you know, is to review what he, uh, all the different important things about the tilt of the earth and what what's happening on the surface of the earth and the seasons, because it was to do with, 
uh, the seasons, not only uh, with latitude and longitude, but also connecting it to the tilt and the seasons. Okay. Key points, okay? Mm -hmm. First of all, Mari saw them throughout the day. She sees them every day for the entire semester. She has rich understanding. I expect her score is going to be based on all of that, not just five minutes. I've had, I've had them in methods. I've seen them teach before. I know them. I know the content. I'm a science major. This is another issue, okay? Mm -hmm. We're both science people. So we have a, a, an understanding of discipline that might be different from somebody who's not a science major. And I, was, I was hearing that from our friend from Belgrade, too, because he's a science guy. So he's jumping in there and going, whatever. To me, in terms of student-teacher expectations, this guy is a tool. Okay, because he's not beyond the two, certainly, because he's not, he doesn't really have the true structure, what this thing, I don't know if you know what structure of the discipline means, but it means that you understand the conceptual and methodological aspects of the discipline. He's, he's not beyond expectations on this. And he has, as, as you said, he has some understanding of the central concepts, but he, he didn't, like turn the earth upside down, <laughs> you know. That's yeah, what he, he did. did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had the whole world in his hands. Right. He did. He did. So, so I'd give him a two. But I've seen I, I I've seen situations where he's gone beyond expectations, where he's known the content, and over the course of the semester, he might, depending on the content, he might get a one one day, he might get a two, he might get a three. But you're going to do it five times, and then at the end of the semester, gotcha. you're going to give him an overall. Okay. That's my question. Yeah. But for that specific lesson, he didn't just demonstrate a knowledge of the difference between latitude and longitude. And that's not what we expect at the university. We expect more. So wouldn't it be one? I would give him a two. Okay. You could give him a one. Okay. He, so, he certainly didn't meet your expectations. Right. But the formative is different than the summative. Are you saying you would give a summative, an ending one, as a two? I'm saying that based on the video and what I've known up to that day, I'd give it to Gotcha. I do like the succinctness. I think this is.